Hi everybody, in today's video, it is that time again to draw two new brands for the Untried Polish Challenge 2019. Um, I'm a little bummed out. I slacked off on doing my nails and I have a ton of Untried Polish brand polishes still to wear. But um, I decided to just move on to the next two brands. Polish will go back into rotation to be drawn again and hopefully it'll come up and I'll get some more of those polishes worn. Um, same thing with all the brands. They're going back into the rotation of being pulled and... Um, because sometimes if we pull it in the summer, you're going to wear untried summer polishes. If we pull it in the fall, you're going to wear untried fall polishes. So I think that's a good way to work it, you know, to wear if another brand comes up. If a brand comes up that we've already done, it's like, well, you know, you can pick something else if you didn't finish. So let's do the mainstream brand first. I'm excited for this, but this is kind of a strange brand, so I'm not sure how you all are going to, how many of you guys are going to have this, but the mainstream brand is going to be Mary Kay. Um, I have several Mary Kay polishes, and I feel like they're a nice summer to fall transition, so I am excited. Um, I bought a couple of vintage ones a while back, and I haven't had a chance to wear them all, and so I am excited to get them on the nails, you guys. Plus, I have a good friend of mine that sells Mary Kay, and a while back, you know, she was letting me know when they were doing um, nail polish, like new releases. I don't think they're doing that anymore because she hasn't let me know probably in the last year, um, but whenever she would get a new polish collection, she would be like, hey, um, she, you know, she saw the sign on my head, like nail polish addict, and was like, get this girl her polish. Um, so I have some really cute stuff that I'm hoping to wear. Um, and then for indie, let's see what we come up with. Ooh, this is a good one. I think you guys will be excited for this one. So this is going to be a one and only indies. So basically this will be any indie brand you only have one polish from and then you'll wear whatever you haven't worn. So I have quite a few from Polish Pickup of one and onlys. That haven't gotten any love so i am excited for that one um and then third hashtag i am excited for you guys i was thinking last night like what can the third hashtag be and i wanted to do something that's sort of like summer to fall transition because we're like in that time right now and i decided to do a grandma polishes um so the third hashtag is going to be grandma untrieds um and basically no one be offended um I know I call them grandma colors. I know you all grandmas out there wear whatever you want and more power to you because when I'm a grandma, I plan to wear whatever I want to. I hope to be 90 still wearing glitter polish um, and I hope you all are doing the same. So, um, but to me, grandma colors, I decided to pull some examples of what I talk about. It's kind of like these pinky, uh, mauve-ish type colors. These kind of colors actually remind me of the 80s. A lot of people in the 80s wear these type of colors. Um, where they got the name grandma from, I don't know. It's kind of like mom jeans. I'm a mom. I don't wear mom jeans. I don't get offended by the term mom jeans. But um, I really, really love these type of colors for fall to summer transition. I think they're so beautiful. I think they're flattering on a lot of skin tones. And I have quite a few that I've purchased recently that I really, really want to get on the nails. So I am super excited. Um, and since I pulled these out, let me tell you what they are. This is OPI. My solar clock is ticking. I don't think I've worn this yet, or at least I hope I haven't because look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Um, and then this one is called Clothing Optional from Essie. This is sort of like a gray mauve type color. Really, really pretty. I already got my fall polish rack set up, you guys. I'm going to be filming that video here coming up. It feels really early for it because we're still really hot here. We're actually um, still getting like record highs. We're in the mid 90s still, which is kind of hot for this time of year for us. Um, and I don't know when it's going to start to cool off. It's, it's just like you keep thinking it's going to. And it is, you know, slightly cooling off, but it's still pretty darn hot. So it'll be interesting to see um, how long that lasts for. Sometimes we'll be like really hot, like all the way into November. And like in November, it's still like 60 degrees and you're like, what's going on? And then other times it snows by Halloween and it's like, boom, it's cold. So we never know what we're going to get because I don't know, like our transition seasons have been kind of strange, like fall and spring either don't happen like we either go like straight from it seems like winter to summer or we go straight from summer to winter um like the transi transition seasons aren't what they used to be so it'll be interesting to see what we end up with this year but for right now it's still really hot and I feel like for some reason I'm really craving fall colors this year um usually I'm like holding on to summer for dear life um and this year I'm kind of like, oh, I could kind of dabble in some fall colors early. So I have my rack out. Be on the lookout for that video. Um, I have some really pretty polishes pulled. And um, 
the hashtags are gonna be I didn't even tell you I'll have everything down below like I normally do um, we're gonna be doing Mary Kay untrieds that'll be the first hashtag next hashtag will be one and only untrieds and then the third hashtag is gonna be grandma untrieds so I'm really excited I hope you guys are too um, I'm just excited to kind of move on into a little bit more of fall like dip my toe in fall um, and then I wanted to thank you all for your participation in the Untried Polish Challenge once again. Um, seeing everything that you guys wear just really pushes me to try and wear more of my polishes and come up with combinations and all of that stuff. I did slack off this last two weeks, but I'm hoping to be um, recommitted to wearing a lot of polish the following two weeks. So if you all are following our Untried Polish Challenge 2019 hashtag on Instagram, there's actually 2.1K posts under that hashtag. I don't think everybody that's using the hashtag is following what we're doing, but a majority are. So we've worn a lot of Untried Polish, you guys. You all should be really, really proud of yourself. I feel like we're really working through the Untrieds this year, and this challenge has been working out like the way that I hoped it would when I thought of it at the end of last year. So I am super, super excited. Um for all the untried polish everyone's getting worn. I hope you guys are like finding things that you really, really love, but I also hope you're kind of finding things that maybe you don't love so much and then you're kind of like, maybe I don't need this. I'm hoping to still get a little more of that going for my collection, like, eh, this was okay. Maybe I don't love it and make room for things I do love. So I hope you guys are accomplishing what you want to just trying all this untried polish. Um, let's talk about some of my favorite manicures from the last couple of weeks because you all were freaking killing it. There was some really, really beautiful stuff that was done. First one, I always have to talk about my nail crush, Kazoo Beer Girl. Um, she kills it, guys. If you are not following Kazoo Beer Girl on Instagram, you need to. I'll put her um, Instagram user handle down below so you guys can go check her out. All her combinations are amazing. I love her nail shape, um, her stamping, just everything she does with nails, you guys, is to die for. Um, I wish that I could be her in nails sometimes. Like when she posts those sometimes, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like I'm like, oh, how come I didn't think of that? Or how come my nails can't look like that? Like she is like legit one of my biggest nail girl crushes ever. Um, and you guys will see why when you see this manicure. Look at this. It's so like vintage. It almost reminds me of those um like vintage um dishes. Um real delicate, real pretty. I have a friend that collects those kind of vintage dishes and this is what it reminds me of. And she has on polish Alien Bloom with some water decals. So beautiful, you guys. Um like I say, I have to talk about her like pretty much every untrade polish challenge video because she just freaking kills it. Like that's just all there is to it. This is another Manny from her, and this is Ghost of Beverly Drive. This is the pink from Polish. And then she has the Mouse King, also from Polish, that she wanted to give away. I have Mouse King, too, and I did not think to pair it the way she did because I'm not as cool as she is. Look at that, you guys. This manicure combination, like, has a little bit of summer feel with that, like, pink, but then it makes me, like, want to put on a cozy blanket. <laughs> I don't know. I really love it. I think she hit the fall to summer transition perfectly with this combination. So, so beautiful. So those are the ones from Kazoo Beer Girl I was loving. I have a look from IQ Nail. I really, really liked this. She had China Glaze Mahalo. Mahalo at me. And then she did a smush Manny with Mahalo at me, You Don't Know Jacket, Water Falling in Love, Cabana Fever, and Sample Size Me Up. And look at that. That is so beautiful, you guys. I love Smush Manny's. I just feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck because they're not super, super hard. The cleanup can be a little messy, um, but it's not a super hard nail art, but it just like gives you this really beautiful effect. So I'm really loving this manicure a lot. That is so beautiful. Um, Next manicure is from Crystal Skyscraper, and she has China Glaze Official Grover It. From the Sesame Street collection and then she stamped over it with some silver polish look at that that is so so pretty you guys I really really loved the silver the way it popped off the blue and I like the stamping design she picked just really really pretty um beautiful polish um then I have TMM 11907 and she has on Palish 
jingle she has on polish jingle all the waves with some stamping and this has me in the mood for fall so hard you guys look at that so she did the silver underneath and then she stamped like the beautiful different colors of leaves this is so beautiful and i also am loving her nail shape again so beautiful um and then i have this manicure from um Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce this. Daviad, Daviadid, Daviadid Diva Beauty. I don't know. I'll put it down below. I'm sorry. That's like horrible pronunciation. Um, but she has on polish, polish the Bell Witch, and it's just amazing on her skin tone. Look at that, you guys. Oh my freaking gosh. I am like just oh, that is perfection on her. Perfection, like. She makes me want the Bell Witch, but I know I'm going to go get it and it's not going to look that good on me because it just like pops off her skin so beautifully. I was in love with that manicure on her. And then the last one, you guys were doing a lot of really good stuff, but um, I, I could talk about this all day. But the last one is going to be Silly Moosey Nails Picture Polish Salt Water. And then she also has some um, Jamboree Nail Wraps that look like um, water marbling. Look at that, so fun, so summery. Um, I love the combination. I said I wasn't gonna say any more, talk about any more, but I have one more, I'm sorry you guys. It, there was a lot of really beautiful manicures. Um, this is from Lisa Gmad, and she is wearing Crown of Thistles from A England, and oh my God, look at this. That looks amazing on her. That holographic is so freaking beautiful. I have one A England and that is it. And I am like, why? <laughs> After I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. I really definitely need to look into that brand more. It's so beautiful on her, you guys. Look at how pretty. That application, oh my gosh, to die for. So the dates for the next two weeks, will, this will start tomorrow, September 8th. And then it will go all the way until September 21st. So we're really going to be into fall time by then. Um... I'm assuming it's going to be cooling off here, probably where you guys are at too, unless you live like, you know, in Florida or something. But um, please, please, please tag me in your manicures, you guys. I love seeing what you guys are wearing. Use the hashtag so that I can follow them and um, see everybody's beautiful manicures. You guys give me so much inspiration that you guys have no idea. Like I see stuff, I get ideas and then I'm like, oh man, this person's like really cranking out the manicures. I need to put something else on my nails. So um, you guys really push me and I appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.